Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Rysom. I am super excited to continue our new mini-series based on our new must-have Web Handling Handbook. We will continue our wrinkling theme from the last week. In this clip, we will show how to properly classify and name wrinkle types, which will then lead to an appropriate remedy list based on that specific type of wrinkle. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. So why do we need a classification system? The answer begins with the often repeated, a wrinkle is not a wrinkle is not a wrinkle. There are more than 20 types. Each has their own specific remedy list. In other words, increasing web tension might work well for some types, but make other types worse. In other words, a spreader may work well for one type, but make problems worse for another type. In other words, adding heat or moisture can make some wrinkle types worse, but leave other types unchanged. In short, you have to get the right wrinkle type in order to get the right remedy list. The good news is, the really great news is, that it's usually quite easy to get the wrinkle type. The first step, determining major case, is the easiest. You only need your eyes and a bit of training. Each major case has several subcases. Thus, step two is to determine which subcase you have at any time and location. This can usually be done quite easily using a bit of process of elimination and again, uh, just a bit of training. Finally, the subcase is what people often refer to as root cause, or as I would rather call it, root cause mechanics because there is not a single root cause per se, but rather a single root cause mechanics that has several major factors. These factors, both pleasant and unpleasant, are the initial remedy list that you would consider. Note that you may have more than one type on your line. No problem. Each type is diagnosed separately and treated separately. So, let's look at the entire wrinkling flatness set of issues from the executive 10,000 meter high overview. There are six major classes of wrinkling, each of which can be diagnosed at a glance only using your eyes. Major cases are the left-hand column of the chart from our must-have Web Handling Handbook. The first three major cases are merely the orientation of the wrinkle. Anyone from operator to plant manager should be able to do this, given only a short amount of training. Note that perhaps 99% of all wrinkling and flatness problems fall into one of these six major classes. There are several subcases under each major cases and are given in the right hand column from table 9.2 from our must have 750 page web handling handbook. The text goes into far more detail on each subcase. Perhaps, after just a bit of training, the easiest way to get started is the free and easy Wrinkle Troubleshooter by Abbott App. This is nothing more than a troubleshooting tree of the table we just showed. Again, we have our six major classes. Select the one that seems to be closest to the single type that you are working on now. If you are not sure, hit the Hint button. In our case, let us suppose that the specific wrinkle we are working on appears to be at a slight angle to the machine direction. This would not be surprising because it is one of the most common of the major cases.
proceeding down the troubleshooting tree, the app shows us that every single known case of diagonal wrinkles has to do with some type of crookedness. We are given two choices, crooked machine or crooked web. While we may have both situations, only one will dominate and only one will be the focus of our initial target troubleshooting. It is important not to jump to conclusions and blame the machine design or blame maintenance or blame raw material. Think about everything you know about your situation. Get more information if you need. At every single step of the way, we have context-dependent hint buttons. Click on those and read through the several paragraphs of text and see if you can demote some ideas and promote other ideas. Again, be careful. This should be based on solid science. Seldom mere experience and not at all based on beliefs, if you can at all avoid it. We hope you have enjoyed this overview of wrinkle troubleshooting and remedies. We hope that you come away with key ideas. The first of being that you need to find the correct major case and then subcase. And that's normally pretty easy to do. Obviously, we can't cover the large area of wrinkling in this short clip, nor do we need to, because wrinkling is one of the best documented areas of web handling. Many of you may want to start with the free Wrinkle Troubleshooter by Abbott App. This troubleshooting tree is pretty easy to use, even with only a little bit of training, such as learning how to see that we described last week in Web 501.11a. However, training can make troubleshooting much faster and much surer. Here, there is no better way than my award-winning and trademark Web 101 school that has been taken by 5,000 students just like you. It is available in your plant, in public venues, and as video on demand through AIMCAL, APITA, and TAPI. Here you will find most everything you need to know in two hours on wrinkling with another 1.5 hours on the subject of spreading an important tool for some types of wrinkling. Finally, that and much, much more can be found in a hundred pages of the Web Handling Handbook. However, don't be intimidated because each chapter begins at the most basic level, something that a lead operator should be able to easily follow, and then proceeds to the latest research on the subject. Thank you so very much for joining me in this mini-series showcasing some of the crown jewels of our new book. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will detail how to read more about wrinkles at a glance, and that should be able to help you find causes and cures with less effort and with greater effectiveness. If you have a topic you would like to hear about, let me know in the comment section below. If you found anything interesting or useful here, Please like and share and subscribe. See you next time.